Hello, Chris. Uh, please get ready to give you your password. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Do you, do you remember where we where we finished yesterday? Yes. Okay. You know, I I always always I find it fascinating uh, about you and your friend Ultimate Fort. Yesterday he called me, and he said, and I want your opinion because you are very knowledgeable, not like him. He said that a Muslim women, according to the Quran, have to be caught fornicating in four different times. Do you agree with him? The, the, you, you, you run away from the answers yesterday, right? No, no, we, we, will, we will go to anything you want. We have time, don't worry. So what do you think about what Ultimate Fort, Sheikh Ultimate Fort from uh, Senegal? You are from Senegal too, right? I can only read to you, Mike. Hmm. So now, what do you How think? Do you know? he, he said, I showed him the verse in the Quran, and he is, he is a Quran uh, only like you. So I showed him the verse in the Quran saying, if you have four witnesses, you have to prove fornication by four witnesses. He said, this no. is not about four witnesses no, in the same time. Firstly, it is not the verse is not about to prove fornication. It's about the what? Verse is saying, the verse is saying that if the woman is caught four times in fornication, in four different times, then you should keep her in the house until she's dead or is there. It That's says it says that it says that. Yes. Oh, okay, guys. It says that if it is if you cut if you cut the woman four different time, doing fornication, you keep her in her house. Yes, that is what the verse is. All right, let us go to the verse, can we? Okay, we can we can go. All right, read for me the verse. Okay, give me the chapter. Uh, so you are answering me about what the verse says, but you do not know what uh, chapter? I know what the verse is. So, why are you asking me to give you the chapter? Uh, because the, uh, I, know, I know the verse, but I, it's like I forgot the verse. Ah, so you, ah you are a scholar who don't remember. Ah, ah, okay. So, you were watching yesterday, and I put the chapter in front of you. And now, from yesterday to now, you don't understand, you don't remember, right? Give me the chapter. All right. Let us see. Okay, let us see. Which, what, <laughs> what, what do you, what, which one you want? Which, what do you mean, which one I want? Because there are many verses, which one? I said, give me the chapter that you're talking about. Okay. Remember, you said, if those are four different time, not four witnesses, correct? Yes, and you okay. have four witnesses at four different times. Okay, guys, it's four witnesses at four different times. Okay, chapter 24, verse number 6. Okay, 24, verse number 6. Mm. Mm -hmm. 24, mm -hmm. 6. Also, as for those, as for those who accuse their own spouses without any witnesses, then the testament, the testimony may be accepted if you swear by God four times okay. that He is true. So you just this, made this a, you, verse. you just made a poo, poo You said to me that you need to have four witnesses in four different times. But this verse saying you don't even need witnesses. You take an oath. Four time. This, this is for this is another this is another verse. It's not the verse. Doesn't matter yeah. which one. So which one we follow? Do we need four witnesses as a must in four different times, as ultimate for said, or we just take four oaths four time, and that will replace the four witnesses? Which one? Uh, this, <laughs> this verse is telling you that if there is no few witnesses, you have to swear four times. Okay, but how, uh, if Allah, he said, you need, you, and you are the one who confirmed that, that we need four witnesses in four different times. Everybody heard you. But now, it turned to yes. me, we do not need any, it turned to me, we do not even need one witness. It's just, we take an oath four times. And why four times? This verse is saying that if there is no witness, if, conditional statement, you don't know English. So, so okay, so hold on. If there is no witnesses, but... This way, anyone do not need witnesses. He's just taken an oath for time. Yes, if there is no witness. Okay. If there is no 
All right, let us go to a different verse so we can laugh. Because maybe you do not okay. know that when the Muslims, they start laughing at this, the Muslims themselves, they start questioning what kind of, how we can get four witnesses. Muhammad, he came with that one to replace the other one. This is abrogated, you stupid Abdul. So look what happened. Chapter 24, verse okay. number four. But shut up. Huh? Chapter 24, verse number four. This one, it says, those who defame chaste women and do not bring four witnesses should be punished with 80 lashes. You said to me, and everybody heard you, they have to be four witnesses in four different time. Show me the four witnesses in four different time. Go ahead. This is another different verse. This is the, the verse. verse I'm talking about. Okay. No, this is the verse I'm talking about. No? Yeah, this, okay, is, the, this, see the verse. this is the only verse. There's no other verse. What verse? Okay, we'll go there. Um... Those who no, 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 hold on, hold men. on. No, no, we will not go there. Hold on. You said this is not the same verse. Give me the other verse. Go ahead. Okay, let me give you the other verse. Uh -huh. Let me produce it. Uh -huh. It's at, uh... Okay. 36. No. <laughs> Read it. Okay, four verse of uh, chapter four verse fifteen. Uh, verse 15. You, uh, chapter what? Chapter four verse fifteen. Chapter four verse fifteen. This is about wives. She is doing fornication and for witnesses yes. and for witnesses. That is what the verse. Okay. That is what the verse. All right. Okay. I will go to four, chapter four, verse number fifteen. Read it for us. Go ahead. Okay. Those who commit adultery among your women, uh -huh. you must have four witnesses against them from you. If they do not bear witness, then you shall keep. If they do bear witness, uh -huh. then you shall keep some in their homes until they die, or God create an exit for them. Okay. This is the verse that we were talking about yesterday. This is about what? It's about the woman caught, uh, who commit adultery. What what you kind know? of what kind of adultery we're talking about? How many type of adultery do you have? Like the one that you used to do. Is it about you this? Is, is this verse about lesbian or about women and men having sex? It says those who have uh, commit adultery, they have committed the adultery. Where, where is the yeah. word? Where is the word adultery? You are facing it. You are facing it. Where? Where? You are facing it. No, tell me in Arabic which word is the word adultery. No adultery there. What you are facing the verse, right? No, adultery is a fornication, correct? Adultery, the fornication. Yeah. You don't know the difference between adultery and fornication. I'm asking you, is adultery is a fornication or not? When you say adultery, do you mean fornication? No, I mean adultery. I, know, I don't mean fornication. I mean so, adultery. Okay, uh, so explain to us what is the difference between adultery and fornication in Islam. Okay, go to your own dictionary. You, 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 no, no, you I, tell I'm me in Islam. You, you are a Quran only, and you can go to any dictionary. No problem. Give me the answer. What is the difference between to... fornication and adultery according to you? Just help yourself and acquire dictionary. No this problem. Give me the answer. Hey, I, I type it. I type it. I have it. No. So now tell me what the difference between fornication and adultery. You said it's different. So you're running away from the verse right now? No, we are not. We are talking about it. Oh, so. Okay. I, I said to you, I said to you, where is the word adultery in the verse? You are facing the, the verse. Where, where? Okay. Facing... Okay. Point your finger at the word. Tell me, this is the word. Here we go. I will show it in Arabic. Here we go. Ultimate thought, he said, you do not need to, to know Arabic to understand the Quran. So all I'm asking you, where is the word adultery in the verse in chapter you chosen for us? Chapter 4, verse number 15. I'm listening. But you are facing the verse, right? What? The verse, okay, the word is um, Al-Fashatim. Al Al Which word are you talking about? It's Al Fashata? Al Fashata mean? Uh, ultimate fault, he told you this is Al Fashata? Yes. 
There is no such an Arabic word, fasheta. What fasheta? Fasheta? You are facing it. What do you mean there is no such word? There is no such a word. I challenge you. I never heard of it. Al fasheta? <laughs> you have been... Okay, I challenge you in front of everybody to show me the word al fasheta in the verse in front of us. Which one? Okay. Al Fahisha. Al Fahisha, not Al Fahisha, you donkey. So it's Al Fahisha. Okay, now, is Al Fahisha is a fornication? Yes. You are the one who said to me, open dictionary. Just to 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 know the meaning. No. Asking me. I'm asking you, is Al Fahisha is a fornication? I said, yes. Im that's immorality is yes. did you did you say to me open the dictionary yes i ask you to open the dictionary to school yourself okay you don't ask me a necessary question all right according to islam dictionary al fahisha is something less than fornication which is kissing touching playing <laughs> blow job etc is that true no Okay, give me the reference, please. Open your own dictionary, any Arabic dictionary. I just did. No, you did not. Okay. You know what? Uh, uh, every Muslim is listening to you now, and this is recorded, right? I can show tons mm -hmm. of reference saying that Al Fahisha, if we go to the chapter speaking about Al Lamam, Al Lamam, what is Al Lamam? Mm -hmm. A man, a man, hold on. Um, uh, if I ask you right now, if a man he kissed a woman in Islam, she is not his wife, or she is married, is that is that a fahisha or fornication? Why should you do that? I'm asking you. I'm not asking you why she did that. She is horny. Let okay. Let us go to reverse. I'm asking okay, you. If a woman she kissed a man in Islam, is that considered adultery or fahisha? We have to. Go to the verse. Oh, you don't stop. Give me the answer. I mean, why? Okay, you go to any verse you want. I want the answer. How you? How you give me the answer? I don't care. Is al fahisha is adultery, or it is? I said. I said I don't know the answer till we go to the Quran. So till what? So you? So you are Mister? I don't know. Till we go to the verse. I thought you wanna. I thought you wanna get me busted. It turned to be you are. So each time I ask you a question, you put me in the corner. You say I don't know. Is that how you escape? I've get you busted already from the verse. No, I'm asking. I'm one. asking you now in the front of everybody. What is al fahisha? If a man he kissed a woman, she is not his wife, regardless if she is married or okay. single. Is that a fornication in Islam or this is fahisha? Give me the chapter itself. I don't care about the chapter. The first in the front of us, you are the one who told me the word fashiha, fashiha. It's fahisha. So now we know the word. So is that word? Don't tell me, give me the verse. Give me the answer, you donkey. That is why I, th I said that. Uh -huh. I don't know the answer. Uh -huh. What? Why you do not know the answer? Because I deal with the Quran. What do you mean? I, I thought the Quran is clear. You said to me you are Quran only. Yes, it is clear. Very sure. Okay, as long as it's clear, give me the answer. Is Al Fahisha is the same as somebody kissing a woman or it is somebody effing a woman? I said, give me the verse or you go to the dictionary. You said you, you do not know and you said you are a Quran only and you said you understand the Quran and you said you will get me busted. Get me busted. So, what do you mean I do not know when you are a Quran only? Are you saying to me Quran is not enough to explain to you what the verse meant? The Quran has explained very clear in details. Then give me the answer. Me. Don't tell me, don't tell me go here and there. Give me the answer. I don't know how you get the answer. Give me the answer. Quran only person do not need anything else. What is Al Fahisha mean to you? Is it a person kissing a woman or a man if in a woman? It just means immorality. It just like yeah, the immorality. Immorality can be anything. Lying is immorality. You're a stupid donkey now. No. Yeah. Is it moral to? Is it? Is it the good manner to lie? Is it uh, 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 an honest uh, uh, thing to cheat in uh, in the weight, in the meat, in the beef, uh, in things you sell? 
So what are you talking about? I'm asking you about Al-Fahisha. Al-Fahisha speak about certain things. It is you who chosen, you know, verses, saying to me this verse, that this one will prove about a woman for locating. Yes. So why you don't say Al-Fahisha is not kissing? It's, isn't it you, your donkey? Just to show how stupid you are. Isn't it you who said that this is the verse we need for witnesses if a woman for locating? The verse, okay, okay. Let us go back to the verse right now. <laughs> okay, now we will go by the verse. So, you, according to you, Al Fahisha is for nukation, not kissing, correct? Adultery. Yes, adultery. It's adultery. It's okay, adultery. is it okay? Is it, is it adultery for nukation or not? Yes, it's still, still uh, deserving. So, why are you are correcting me? Why I say, why I say for nukation, you say adultery? Because I want you to go by the uh, by the word. Mm -hmm. what, what, yes. what the heck? Listen, I, isn't it the, the Arabic word is one Arabic word? And English is just a translation. Yeah. So is it fornication or it is adultery? Isn't it the same? Isn't it, is it fornication is adultery? He hang up the potato. Potato. The donkey, he do not know that this verse is about lesbian. This is about lesbian. No if in there. This is why it says, your women. It's more than one woman involved. Those women who commit such a thing. What is the man in the verse? Donkey. You hang up because you're a potato. If two women or multiple women they have sexual relationship fahisha, those women we jail them in their houses. So the donkey you choose him. Go. Hello. What happened? Let me call him. Are you there? Hello, okay. Did you get the answer from Ultimate Fart? I said, let us go to the verse. It's adultery. Abdul, what, are, what, what's wrong with you? Let us go to the verse. Let's go. We are in the verse. Okay. Okay. So what is the question? So where is the men in the verse? What is the man? What is the man? The man, the one who come fornication or adultery. It have to be a man and a woman, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you see any men in the verse? This verse is putting the judgment on the woman. It's what? putting the judgment on the woman. It's speaking about what to do with the woman. It does not mention men. But it says your women, they did something, then you jail them. Okay, what we do to the man? The, the verse is the verse is the does not indicate here. Listen, you are a Quran only. And you believe the Quran explained itself. You say this is about women and men having sex for no kating, committing adultery. Where is the men? Okay, what we do to the men? Okay, let me answer. This verse is, so, is saying that if your wife is caught in adultery mm. with four different men, then you should provide uh, that will be four witnesses. The reason is because the other verse says that uh -huh. the other man, the other man will be given 100 lashes, each of them. Okay, you just said, everybody heard you, four different men, correct? Yes. But you quoted this verse for me to prove that it is four different time and four different men. Yes. But you just for said, sure. but you just said, you need only four witnesses. Yes. So where, where you are adding four different time to the verse? Look, look, you are facing the verse. The verse says, you must have four witnesses against them from among you. Uh -huh. If they do bear witness, if they do bear witness, four witness against what? It has to be four different occasions. It has to be four where, where, the, where, where is a different occasion? I want to, you, you see, you are calling me to get me busted. And now you okay. are saying to me, you see, you are almost in fabricating Quran. Now, are you adding the words four different 
occasion? Is it? Does it say that? You are Quran only, remember. Which means, only what the Quran say, you say. But look what you are doing. You are adding now a long sentence saying, four different occasion. Can you read for me where in the verse it says in four different occasion? You are facing it. Where? You are gonna you, you, where? Okay, where? Let, where? Let, let, me, let me explain how it says that. Let me explain. Uh, not, not explain. Read the verse. It should be in the verse. You see, your Quran yes. only. The Quran is Abdul. Listen, if the Quran is saying four different occasions, then show me where it says that. Otherwise, explanation is false because it's not up to you to add things. It's not said in the Quran. Remember, you are a Quran only, and whatever the Quran only say, you have to follow without even explanation. The Quran say so. Does the Quran say the words, the sentence, four different occasion? Yes. Where? Show me. I will take you to another verse, then we're going to explain. Whenever I'm speaking, don't interrupt me. Finish, okay, finish this one, and we will go to the other verse. Oh. Hmm. Where you are the one who called this verse for me, you donkey. And now we want to go to a different verse. I ask you where it says for, for different occasion. You say this verse. Don't interrupt me. So what interrupt you? So what oh. a big deal? We are having a conversation. You want, you want to get, take the mic and speak forever? So I'm asking you now, it's you who chosen this verse here to prove to me it is four different occasions. You chosen this verse for that purpose. I'm asking yes, you, yes. where in the verse it says four different occasions? That is what I'm trying to explain. You're going to let me So talk. are you saying to me that is in your explanation, not in the Quran? No, it is from the Quran and I'll prove that. No, where? Where it says, where is the, where is the sentence says, in four different occasion okay because the quran says that if it is uh they should give 100 latches but this verse is saying that it should be kept in the homes till death because this is about because you're stupid because this is about women having sex only together women women it says no it says those who commit adult no no those who those who commit fornication in the form of women with women what translation you are reading no what translation what translation you are reading you your translation no you your translation what translation you want i said your translation okay my translation says two women it says women there's no, there's no man Oh God! <laughs> what? <laughs> so you mean according to, according to you? Okay, let us take example in the Bible. Don't Jesus don't don't that, listen, Abdul. Abdul, give me the translation you accept. Okay, Jesus says that when don't change the topic, Abdul. Adults, don't run. Don't put your tail between your legs and say Jesus says. Jesus says that you are a whore. Jesus says your father is the devil. Jesus says that you will know them from their fruit. He said that the father of all lies is the devil. If you are a follower of Abraham, you do the work of Abraham, Jesus said. But you don't. You Muslims are fabricating answers against your Quran. I can show right now the interpretation saying this is about women having sex together. And the verse after it, you donkey, it says Al-Ladhani, which means two men. So the verse before it, verse number 15 says, if two women having sex together, and the verse after is about men only. So it's about gays and lesbian. You are a certified donkey. You are the certified donkey. Okay, here it says in verse number 16, let's see who is the donkey. And by the way, your prophet says, aren't you afraid from raising your head before the imam? Allah will make your head ahead of donkey. Already you are a donkey. He cannot make you a donkey. Don't worry. So now, verse number 16, does it say about two men? If they do this act, we beat them with sandals. We just hurt them. No, it says uh, the couples. What couples? Okay, hold on. Just to show you how stupid you are. So the verse before it, if two men and women, a man and woman, they have sex, according to you, we jail them in their houses. Wonderful. The, then how you explain to me the verse after says, if two of you men have sex, we just insult you, hurt them. Why we have different rules? Why we have different rules? Okay, it says, and as for the two of you yeah. who are guilty, punish them both. What? They are guilty of what? And if, 
They are guilty. They are guilty. What, what from the context? What are they guilty of? Fahisha. <laughs> yes? Certified donkey. Fahisha, the same word you quote for me. You could not call it in the beginning. I help you. Fahisha. So the Quran continues, says, if two of you, wallati ya'teena al-fahisha, if two of them, those women, did commit fahisha, we do this to them. We, we jail them in their house until they die. The verse after says, if two men do what? No, do fahisha. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't say men. It says that, in Arabic it says, walladhani. Two of you. Two Abdul, of you, not Abdul, Muta boy. No, this is the English one. The start, the first one. It says, "Walladhani." Yes, two men. Two, okay, two is of you. is "Alladhani" for men or for women? It says two of you. Do you like to call ultimate fort? What do you mean? I, I like to. I okay, like hold to on. You said to me you believe in dictionary, right? Can you find for me right now and get me busted? In I will give you the password. Is it for men, Ladhani, or for men and female, Ladhani? Ladhani? Mm -hmm. I think it's for... Uh, let me see. Uh, squeeze it, squeeze it. It's, it's coming. It's what? Two of you. It does, it does not uh, refer to men or female. It, is uh, uh -huh. it does not. Are you sure, Abdul? Yes. Ah, that's amazing. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, if it is the same, then why they have different punishment? If this, if the, if the, if the, if the, if the one number fifteen is about a man and woman having sex, and the punishment is to jail them until they die, then how the second one have different punishment? Just hurt their feeling. Yes, if there are two, if there are two of them. Eh? We know it's two. We know, we know. Do yes, listen, focus, focus. Potato, everybody is dying laughing at you. It's recorded. So now, you know, I should pay you money actually to call me every day. I mean, you are the best drama we have. No Muslim is calling. Thank you for calling. So listen, I'm, ask, I'm asking you if it is the, the first one is a man and women for no kating. What we do, you said, we bring four witnesses. In the four different times, which doesn't say that, and you are a liar as usual. But if it is the shut up, if it's the same, why in the verse number 16 it says, If two of you commit it, then just heard them, heard them. What the difference between the verse 15 and the verse 16? Okay, the difference is that the verse in 16 is talking about two. Even if there are two, they should be punished. So are you saying to me that the verse number 15 is about group sex? The verse, it's for whatever. <laughs> whatever. What, are you trying to buy time? We call it ultimate fault. And what, what do you mean call, call ultimate fault? What, what do you mean that? You are facing I'm person. asking you. If this is the, if the first one is a fornication, man and a woman, you claim that. And then we bring four witnesses. And then we the punishment is we jail them until they die. Okay, wonderful. So now verse number 16, talking about what? It says, the two of you who commit the adultery shall be punished. Okay, what what uh, uh, what adultery we are talking about? What if, okay. if both of them are adultery, why here we just hurt them and there we jail them? That is why I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Really? Right? All this time you are talking, I do not let you talk? You, when I'm trying to clear everything, you stop me along the way. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Go, I will take, go, go, I will take a nap. Okay. <laughs> the verse says, and two of you, what does that mean? It I don't means know. that... It's mean three. No. It's mean two I'll then. Explain what? It's mean two. You are smart. Okay. If two of you, okay. The two of you, the uh -huh. two of you who committed the adultery shall okay. be punished. Okay. The other man, the other man, the, the first punishment is mentioned for the woman is mentioned in verse 15. This, the punishment for the other person is to uh, 100 lashes. What, are you stupid or what? So how, yeah, how, I, Abdul, Abdul, if, if, they commit fornication in verse number 15, we jail them until they die. Is that correct? 
Yes, that's for the woman. Okay. Four times. Oh, this is for the women. Finally, he got himself busted. So I, I was telling you from the beginning, those are only women. Women. Those are lesbian, your donkey. Now you get yourself busted. So the verse after it is for two men. This is the difference between them. So two men having sex, if we go to the interpretation, as an example, at Jalalain, it says, those who they are homosexual. Homosexual. This is why in Arabic it says, two men, men, men committed adultery. Al-Ladhani. Homosexual. Read it, read it, read it. They are doing the act of loot. The act of loot. What we do? We beat them with sandals. Shall I beat you with sandal? Are you a gay? So are you a gay? So you are not quoting the Quran. You are quoting what is, what I'm quoting? This is even your inter This is your scholar interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not giving me guys. What the Quran says. Shall I hang up on him and give him mercy for tonight, or li live him talk? I hang up on you, you for honestly. Listen, I hang up on you because I feel bad for you, but I will not hang up. Listen. All Muslim okay. scholars agree that this is about homosexual. This is why it says, if two of your men, then no, this two is, of you, no, you are the one who you. agreed. You are the one who agreed that the punishment for the women, the punishment for the women is to jail them in their houses until they die, correct? Yes. Okay. But are you saying that in Islam there's no penalty of stoning to death? The Quran, the Quran does not say that it is the Bible. This is another question I'm asking you. Do Islam believe, I, do, do Islam and Muslim believe that a woman, she is married, commit fornication, she should be stoned to death, yes or no? I say the Quran does not say that it is the Bible. It's another question, it's another question. Do Islam believe that a woman, she is married, she commit fornication, should be stoned to death, yes or no? I say the Quran never says that it is Stupid the Bible. Stupid or what? I'm asking you, do Islam say this or not? Either you say, don't tell me Quran, say no. So Islam doesn't say that. I said the Quran does not say that. I didn't ask you about Quran. I said, do Islam and Muslim believe that a woman, if she is married, commit fornication, she should be stoned to death? I said it is not found in the Quran. It is a lie. So it is a lie. Anything is not in the Quran is a lie, correct? Yes, the, for that for that person that put that judgment, it's not in the Quran, right. it's a lie. Okay, I'm going to ask you, just to show everybody. When Muhammad, he went to heaven, Muhammad, he went to heaven. Do you believe in that? No. You don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven? No. He did not go they to heaven? Lie. It's a lie? Ne never. They lied against him from the first This is your own garbage books. Okay, hold on. Right? Hold on. So who is the one who lie about Muhammad going to heaven? Your own garbage book, your own fellow Christians. Abdul, don't insult. How can I insult you so easy? So I'm asking you now. We are trying to speak in a friendly language. So you want to be insulted, insulting my Bible? I will insult you. Okay, so now, when you say you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, so Muhammad went where? The Quran says he was taken to the, to the uh, mosque. To where? To mosque. Masjid al uh, where, 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 where is that location? That's what the Quran says. No, no, I'm asking you, uh, Allah took him where? What is that? Allah says it took him at where? night. Where? 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 Mosque, I get it. I get it. Where? Allah took him where? Aqsa Mosque. Where is that? Hey, what do you mean? Where is that? The, I'm, asking you, you the, I'm asking you, where is that? Quran, where is that? Did, did the Quran tell you the exact point? No. I thought the Quran is a book, you Muslim Quran only, you can understand the Quran. So now we do not know where he took him? And why he took him? He took him to a place called. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, you only believe in what the Quran say. Then you say yeah. to me, the Quran says that we have to have four witnesses in four different occasion. When I say to okay. you, where we can find the four different occasion, you quote for me this verse, chapter uh, 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 four, verse number fifteen. Correct. I ask you, where in the verse it says four different occasion? You are Can saying to me, hold on, you Can are saying to me, no, you did not answer, you are a coward. You said to me, I believe only in what in the Quran. Does it say anywhere in the verse you gave me that it is four different occasion? 
Yes, the Quran explained the Quran explained that. Show me the verse saying this is the one. Show me where it says okay. four different occasions. Okay, take a nap and I'll answer. Take a nap and I'll answer. No, show me the show me the sentence. What do you mean? Why you wanna why you wanna explain? As long as you follow Quran only, you are the one who I'll said, answer. listen, potato. You said to me that you believe only in the Quran. That's why you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, correct? Because the Quran doesn't say that. There's no verse saying there's no verse saying that Muhammad went to heaven. Wonderful. I'm going with you. So now, can you show me where in the Quran it says to prove that you are really Quran only person? Otherwise, you are a fraud. Show me where it says four different occasions from the Quran. Don't explain. That would be funny. You are adding things. It's not there. You see, I am destroying you. You see, I am destroying you. you don't Wonderful. Like Destroy me and show me where it says for different occasion. I'm waiting. Okay. The Quran explain itself. It says that for the, if it is not up to four, the woman should be given 100 lashes as a punishment. 100 lashes. But this one, it says that she should be kept in the house. What does that mean? It means that it has to be four different occasions. Guys, shall I hang up on him or keep him for entertainment? Abdul, what do you mean it's mean? It's mean. It says only bring four witnesses. It doesn't say anything about occasion. The Quran explained itself. Where it's explained that it's four different occasion. Okay, because the other verse says that it says it's call four of your witnesses against them. What do you mean call? For? What, what? Where did you get that from? It's in the Quran. The verse says, you're not reading the verse correctly. Really? Yes. Okay, give me the verse correctly. Okay, those who commit adultery among your women, you must have four witnesses against them from you. If you, they you must what? Women, you must, slowly, slowly, you must what? You must have four witnesses against them. So what, what you are you. saying to me, I, 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 the verse doesn't say, I just said, Call four witnesses. You said doesn't say that. You must have four witnesses. Doesn't it call? You, you must. You must it, ask. You are trying to make it like you uh, must. You, you, must, you, 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 you must. You must. You must. You must. What? You must ask for witnesses. Yes, for you to put her in the house until they die. What, what do you mean by saying ask? Like, do you buy them, or they are there and they saw? They have. I see, what I'm trying to say is that for you to keep them in your house till they die, you have to have four witnesses against them. If okay, they but so where is where is the four occasion? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hmm? The other verse says that if she is caught in adultery and it is not up to four times, the woman should be beaten 100 lashes. 100 lashes. Abdul Batato, you keep repeating the same thing. We got it, 100 lashes, who cares? I'm asking you now, the, where it says the four occasion. That's what I'm, I'm just telling you. Where? One occasion is 100 lashes. Where, the, four, the four occasion is 100 lashes? One occasion is 100 lashes. One, one occasion is 100 lashes? Yes. That's false. That is a few, Abdul, son of Muta. This is if a man he made accusation, the husband, if he made accusation in marriage. But this is about lesbian anyway. But if I want somebody he made accusation for those women, he have to provide four witnesses, even though he is not a witness. He made accusation. So when you make an accusation, you have to provide four witnesses to be one to be to be approving what happened. This is what the verse is saying. No, the verse says, the verse says, Don't ever call me again. What a whore. I will never mm -hmm. let you talk. You know, I mean, disgusting, stupid, low class, garbage. This is what the verse is saying. It says you provide four witnesses to prove it. No occasion. 